Welcome to this demonstration video of Cyclone 9.0. We're going to be going over the visual registration part of the enhancement to the registration module inside of Cyclone. When you bring in an auto align project or in any project, you can use the new visual alignment tools to help bring your project together. I'm going to go ahead and bring up an example registration here where an auto align project has been brought in and then multiple groups are formed. Sometimes the auto alignment routine in an effort to be as accurate as possible may not be able to group everything in one group. A typical example would be a hundred scan project where you have 70 in one group and so on. Well in this illustration I'm just going to go ahead and work with these groups here. So our visual registration tools are located here under visual registration. You can open up the 2D scan thumbnails. This shows you a visual representation of your project. Each group here, one, two, three, and four has scans in it. You can go ahead and join groups together by selecting scans between groups. So I can go ahead and select scan two and four, because I think they go together. Open them up in the image preview pane and further inspect the thumbnail. And I can go to other thumbnails in the group here. And if I'm happy and I think that these two may go together, I can go ahead and open these up in the visual alignment. I did also want to point out that you can see targets here here, here, and here. These show up if you have targets inside your model space when you import or if you extract black and white targets during import. So I can click visual registration. It will open up a viewer that contains these two okay, in one model space. It's pretty intuitive, easy to use. This blue scan will be then moving over the orange scan. So I typically pick a corner, which is a good area or reference then go ahead and pick that and then rotate it into space. You can use your alt key to slow down the movement there to get it real tight there. And then you can move it into location, inspect. You don't need a perfect alignment here. You don't need to get it exact. You just need to get it close enough. Okay, back up. And then I'm going to want to look, so I'm in my top view now. I'm going to want to go in my elevation view to get my elevation set. These scans are all done on the floor, so they're the same elevation, but sometimes they're not. So if they're not, you can go ahead and rotate around till you get a good view. Like that is a good view. Now you can set your elevation, moving the blue scan down into place till it matches nicely. Okay, okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to show you how the group collapsing works. So I've got my situation here where I've got these two, one from group two and one from group one. I want to merge these groups. So I go ahead and run a cloud constraint. It'll cloud to cloud register these two scans together quickly and easily. You will see the um, detailed report on how well these fit, your errors, your point count, lots of Small errors in a large point count is what you want. Status is aligned. Do you want to use these cloud constraints to merge groups? Do you want to merge everything in group two into group one? So when I say yes, you can see here now everything's merged. The object is to get to a place where you can go push everything into group one. So it's a very visual way of, of moving along to your project and getting to the point where you have one group in your registration using the new cloud to cloud visual alignment technology inside of Cyclone 9.0.